up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here of Marty Music, my brand new guitar lesson project. We got Marty Music, this YouTube channel, and MartyMusic.com. Really appreciate that continued support. I got tons of new, brand spanking new videos coming your way. This is probably the most requested song so far at Marty Music, so I felt like I had to get it done as soon as possible just for you guys. So thanks again for subscribing here, leaving comments, liking the videos checking out all my new, new, new stuff. So thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. We're going to do uh, the brand new Green Day song, um, Revolution Radio, another just like awesome, classic Green Day sounding song. Um, so let's dig in. And uh, basically, I've got a clean tone on my amp, and then I'm using an overdrive pedal with the drive. This is a basic overdrive pedal with the drive cranked all the way up to get that distortion sound. And uh, a Les Paul, kind of get that rock sound right like that. So anyway, here we go. So we got this little lick going on here. And we're going to plant, and this is just the way I figured it out, going to plant the middle finger on the 10th fret of the B string, and that gets to stay there. Index finger is going to be on the 9th of the G, and it's going to slide up to the 10 with the lick. So let's get to it. Uh, we're going to do two picks on that B string, then we're going to do two picks on the G string, so we've got just like that, then we're going to go back to the B string and play two again. Then we go back to the G and hit it once, then slide it up to the 10th fret. So when you put all that together, it sounds like this. So you're still going da 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 with the picking, so. So bum 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 bum. 9, 10, 10, 10 on that G string. So after that, now that we're on the 10 of the B and the G, we hit one time on the B, one time on the G. Like that. Put that all together. One more time slow. So then I'm going to grab the 12th fret of the B string with my pinky. While that middle finger is planted the whole time, I'm going to go and I'm just pulling off from the 12 to the 10 on the B. So check it out. Really slow now. So as soon as you pull off, we're going to hit two times on that G, and then the whole riff starts over.
over that is an A power chord to an F power chord. So when that lick's going on there in the intro, when the chords kick in, it's an A power chord, which you can play right there, open A, second fret D, second fret G, F power chord, first fret, third fret, third fret. And there's a little break where it does, you know, dun, into the burst. And that's what we need to do next. So we've got the lick, then it's the chords kick in A over F, a little break where the little last, you hear the little last part of that lick by itself into an A power chord. And we open it up like dun, dun, cha, 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 cha. And so we're gonna do all down for this part of the verse. It's uh, palm muting and chug chugs, down chugs, down strums. And so just the first A of the cycle, you let it ring out open like. Then we're gonna go to a D power chord. That's the next section. Now, something that happens is there's obviously more than one guitar part going on. So the verse is A, J, 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 D power chord, which is five on the A, seven on the D, seven on the G. Then again, but on that, second time it goes to D, you hear another lick, which is just part of that first thing I taught you. just for the D, which is implying a D minor, which Green Day likes to do that in their melodies. The four chord as a minor chord came from the Beatles. Anyway, here's what we got, the verse. Uh, a, D power chord, A, D, you know, the second guitar would be doing that. And then finally a G power chord, third fret, fifth fret, fifth fret. Then an E power chord, and I like to play my E power chords like an E major chord, but I mute the G string. So you don't hear that, you hear. No G string muted with the tip of my index finger. So let's go to that verse again. A, D, A, D power chord, A, D, now G, G, E, A, D, 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 A. That's going on underneath it. D, now G chord, E. And when you play that E power chord, it's more open. It's not palm muted. And the first time it get, you know, the first time it's getting ready to go to the, the chorus, it does this octave lick, and we're gonna need octaves later too. So this lick sounds like this. Uh. In the chorus, da, da, da. So octaves mean they're the same note, the higher version, the lower version. So we start on an A and it's octave, so it's the fifth fret of the E and seventh fret of the D and the index finger mutes the A string. So you're only hearing this note and this note, and that's muted. You can kind of strum it like a chord. And in fact, my index finger is muting the other higher strings too. So I'm gonna just say the fret of the E string because that locks in a whole step up and a string over for the whole move. So it's five, seven to eight. Five, seven, eight, twelve. Slide it up to twelve. So five, seven, eight, twelve, ten, eight, ten, seven. Break into the chorus. 
Five, seven, eight, twelve, ten. Eight, ten, seven. We are A chord, which is the chorus now. So A power chord. And, and these are not palm muted down strums, it's more of that open. Ja, 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 ja. So we've got this A power chord. Da, 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 da. Then F sharp power chord, which is second fret, fourth fret, fourth fret. Then the D power chord, which is the fifth root, fifth fret on the A string root. Then G, third fret. 5th fret, 5th fret, then an A power chord, so check it out. We are A chord, da da da, F sharp chord, da da da, da da D, G, A. And there's a quick break on a D, I played it there, but actually power chord would be better, better, so watch. A chord, da da da, F sharp chord, D, G, A, T, D, A, D, 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 F sharp. This time now it's D up to F right there. And that F right there, yeah, is the uh, eighth fret on the A string. Double power chord. Just a power chord, but I'm adding that octave on top. You can either do any of these songs, power chords, you could do just a two finger power chord. Green Day tends to do the three note power chord, so that's why I'm doing that. So here it is again, and there's a little lick that just relates back to the first thing I taught you in the lesson. So chorus A chord, da da da, F sharp chord, da da da, D, G, A. Now we need a new part, which sounds like this. Right back into the second verse. So these little breaks are an A power chord, which we'll do right here. Five, seven, seven. And then it's like dun 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 -dun. You know, the real staccato. So it's like a down up mute, down up mute, mute. And we're doing this. Dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun. You know, so I'm just going, I'm relaxing my left hand for the scratch sound. So, like. So it's an A, F. First fret, third, third, up a whole step to G, and then we scoot it over to the C power chord. Second D of that. So uh, that second verse again. A D D D D A D D D D A D G chord D A D D D A D D D D A D G chord E chord. And it does not. On the second time it goes to the chorus, it doesn't do the... It just goes right into the second chorus from the second verse on that second time around. So here's that second uh, second verse right before the chorus. A, D, A, D, A, D, G, E, break. Sharp chord, da da da, and a D chord, G chord to the A, A, da da da, F sharp chord, da da da, da D chord, F break. This thing again.
and then the solo is over the chorus. But there's a little piece of the lick that I haven't taught you yet during the chorus. And it just goes. That's it. It's just a piece of that opening lick. So let me show you how that fits in. A chord of the chorus, F sharp chord of the chorus, D chord, G chord to the A. So right when it hits the A, you go. That's it, just a little piece of that lick. chorus is all the same kind of octaves we were doing on this part. So I'm just going to say the root, uh, you know, the E string for those octaves. So, so that is, starts on the 12. 12, 10, 9, 7, 5, 7, 9, the first line of that of that uh, solo so um, then it goes up to the 14th fret and then hits twice on the nine so from the top of the chorus I mean well the top of the solo and the rest of it's the rest of that little section is the same. So. Then a little tag, which is 12, 10, 12, 10. So. G. A little, like a little G scratch kind of thing and then I believe you still have this leg um, and it's all layered but the octave part is really just kind of the melody of the chorus so then the next time so um, let me do it from the top There's some, uh, there's a little squealy or a little um, pinch harmonic, which we'll have to do kind of a whole lesson on that. But one of the last notes there, you choke down on the pick to get a, and with a lot of distortion, you'll, you'll hear it squeal out. My guitar is clean right now, so. does it different is it's up to the 14 of the E so da, 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 da. so that's 14 down to the 9 back to the 14 then up a whole step to 16 back to 14 so And then the rest is the same. 10, uh, 12, 10, 12, 10, 3. And then it immediately goes into the lick I showed you earlier with the octaves. And then right into it again. We are chorus. Da, 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 
So let me show you the. Um, we'll play the whole thing at the end, but let's uh, let's play that that uh, solo one more time. What happens right before the solo? chorus lick right into it again chorus and then a little it always breaks right on that D during this It doesn't go up to that F anymore. It goes to G because it's uh, might be a double chorus. Um, I would recommend you listening to that. But I know it doesn't go up to F near the end because it, it, it repeats over. So it goes to G. So doesn't go to that F when it starts doing the chorus at the end of the song. Then, basically the ending of the song, uh, it goes in, you know, you've got the, um, this thing again. You know, and that's over A to F. So it comes back to that again near the end of the song. And then the final ending is this thing. And it finally ends on that A power chord. So let's just play through the parts with some distortion. And you can play along with me. Uh, and uh, let's just see what happens. going over
Green Day Revolution Radio right here at Marty Music. Thanks so much for subscribing, supporting me right here at Marty Music. Um, you can leave your song requests down below, other comments. I'm going through them. I uh, just want to thank you again. And uh, I promise we'll see you in another video real soon. See you later.